I'm going to try to do this without crying because you made a bet that neither one of us would cry. <laughs> I think I lost, so. We've known each other so long, I honestly don't remember the first time we met. It's been so long, the details have been lost. I love that we're better together, and as we grow and build our lives, I know we will be better together than we ever could be apart. Wow. <laughs> Hi, babe. Hi. How are you? Friends, family, obligatory plus ones, welcome to a special day long in the making. It is a day where two families become one and two hearts are joined together. Jordan, when I think about the start of a relationship, it goes much further back than four-ish years ago and 570 miles of distance. It starts with a childish crush turning you down for prom, but you got the dress that matters. Who would have thought that after so many years of living so close together, moving 600 miles apart was a catalyst we needed to ignite our relationship? I will forever be thankful for agreeing to drive the six hours from Columbia to Outer Banks when I was expecting a two and a half hour drive to Myrtle Beach. Thanks, Mason. As we start our new life together, I promise to accompany you to the most remote stretches of modern plumbing and maybe just a bit farther. I promise to support every hobby you have, even when it involves our house smelling like a bar from your wine and getting stung. I promise to keep my hobbies to a manageable number and only bring home a few unexpected dogs. I promise to love you in health and sickness, even when it's just the man flu. <laughs> I promise to always be your sous chef, even when you worry I'm going to cut myself and I spend most of the time eating cheese. I promise to be your friend, partner, and accomplice wherever this life takes us. And I promise to stay by your side as we grow old and gray together. I promise to help you find everything you're looking for, both physically and in life, even if it's your wallet that's right in front of your face. I promise to love you through thick and thin, even when you're stressy depressy and need a night doing nothing, drinking beer on the couch with the dogs. I am so excited to keep doing life with you, even if it means having a baseball team of kids, and I can't wait to see what our future has in store. I promise to be faithful and loyal, and to remember you're human and will make mistakes, and not get upset when those happen. And I promise to stay by your side as we grow old and gray together. I love you. Though we have heard the vows which have been shared by Brooke and Jordan, words once spoken are carried away on the wind. Therefore, the wedding ring is a visible symbol of the promises that you have made. You have now sealed this pledge with your wedding rings. By the authority vested in me, by the Universal Life Church in the state of Ohio, I now pronounce you husband and wife. I think you know the rest. I, uh, I like to give Jordan shit constantly, uh, saying that Brooke could uh, do a little bit better. But I guess that's not true. Jordan treats her uh, the way Brooke should be treated. He really cares for her.
incredibly easy for anyone to see that you two are meant for each other through the love that you share. And like also, you guys are both kind of weird. But you're like that perfect kind of weird where you make everything fit together seamlessly. So you got that going for you. Brooke, I'm so glad that you're joining our family. And I wish you both all the happiness in the world. Cheers. Yeah.